Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Cam6078, and it's been a week, guys. I'm sorry I've been super busy, but let's talk about this video. This legendary event is really, really neat with Thrawn. I personally am not a big believer in him and his ability to change the meta. However, uh, there are a lot of strong believers, a lot of Empire, pro Empire YouTubers out there. I'm not one of them, uh, mainly because I feel like they're kind of a tangent. But Thrawn's, Thrawn's cool. He looks really cool, at least. And I'm really excited to hopefully unlock him. I have five five star phoenix characters i didn't get to five star sabine and you guys probably didn't either because she is a like she's impossible to find like the guild store and one hard note is just it's not cool so um that was unfortunate but she's she like helps a lot apparently with this event but that's okay chopper's good enough and uh you know i would only i would recommend probably only getting them to five stars because as i said earlier Thrawn's not really that good from what I've seen so far, uh, and the Phoenix team is not worth gearing up one character, because it takes like, for me it takes like two months to gear up somebody to gear 11, especially with the Carbonti crunch as it is, and I'm going to have a video about this later, probably the next one you guys will see is about this, just the gear hassle in general, uh, and so the moral here is Thrawn is good, but he's not amazing he's not somebody you want to invest six five characters in in order to get one good character i'm just i just don't see it being really worth it so that's that's my point of view from my point of view the jedi are evil we'll let you all love I, I mean I, I could go on and on and on about you know saving up your resources for using good enough characters however you know thrawn thrawn's just He's just a bad gear. He's a bad gear. Nothing like Nihilus or Emperor Palpatine where they're really easy to gear. He's the complete opposite story. So I'm not sure how big of an impact he'll have on the game. It's weird to think about that he can be used for the R2 event, but more likely than not, you're not going to 7 star the Phoenix characters. I wouldn't recommend it. They're not that good. They, they really don't have very much use in the game. Their kits are underwhelming. They seemed like they were going to be the meta. When they were coming out with all their uniques being shared, everybody can counterattack and uh, hit harder with crit damage, crit chance, etc. However, they're they're just lacking some things. I don't really understand what. Maybe if Ahsoka Fulcrum would have been Phoenix, that would have helped somehow if she had a unique. But but they're just not good, and so I see it kind of like unfortunate that EA basically forced us into farming these garbage characters. So like I said earlier. Farm only up to five stars. Unlock Thrawn because he's probably cool to unlock. I, I I wanted to unlock him, and that's that's as far as you want. You probably want to take him if you're free to play. If you're pay to play, do your thing. If you want to get these Phoenix Squadron characters all the way up in order to get Thrawn, do it. Okay. Literally, the, there there's nothing I can, I can say that really can influence you in any other way except just just do it. Have fun with the game. Thrawn also needs two Zetas on his leadership and his unique, so he's got a cool Empire Cleansing thing where when they cleanse they can get 50% turn meter. It kind of works like an extra ability, so some people will have four abilities if they're Empire. It's really neat to see, but at the same time, uh, I just I don't understand why you would invest in some character like Thrawn where maybe you could use, like if since General Kenobi shares the same gear, you could maybe throw in General Kenobi on your arena team, and he may hold better than Thrawn will on defense, because the AI is so bad that the, A the AI will basically lose the battle for you if Thrawn is on your team, maybe because he uses the wrong tournament at the wrong time. And it just it's just a bummer. So use characters who you like who are useful in the game for a lot of parts, not just for one specific part. And you, you don't want to use a lot of excess gear because, like I said, the Carbonti Crunch is real. It literally is, like, it's insane right now. I'm, I am out of gear. This game needs a gear shop. It really needs better Rancor rewards and, and other things, too. But that's just my opinion. This is going into a little rant about the Phoenix Squadron because I felt like this was kind of forced. And it wasn't really that, you know, it wasn't really cool that they kind of made us do this, uh... So those are my thoughts, guys, and tell me what you think in the comments below. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, like, I don't even know how to use most of the Phoenix characters. In all honesty, 
I, I, <laughs> I, I really don't. I, I couldn't tell you what their basic did uh, or how it gives protection up or whatnot. That's just... Um, that is what it is. So after I am done beating this, hopefully I do beat it first try. I will show you the mods and obviously the star level and whatnot. I mainly just use survivability mods because why not? And I love Zeb. Zeb's cool. He hits pretty hard. And Ezra's a nice addition too. But aside from that, just ugh. barf. We're going to use Taunt for Chopper. We are going to try to work through all these stormtroopers. We're going to put back a plan on the chopper as well. I don't even know what this does. Oh! That's nice. Yeah, obviously I don't even know what I'm doing because... Man, I'm struggling. Wow. Anyway, I've heard Bre Ezra is your bread and butter. And the rest of these characters just are not that good. I, I'm really curious to see how good they are on ships. That's another thing that probably will happen soon enough. But that's for another video. The Carbonti Crunch is real. Oh, man. So much going on, but at the same time, it feels like so little. Another thing that's kind of annoying me is that Flash Event's out. And the Flash Event isn't giving out as good of gear as it did before. I'm so grateful for the gear. But it's hard to tell because of the Thrawn event that's out right now, so all I see is a Thrawn event, so I have to go over and events and check every now and then, and I, I honestly forget it so often, it's kind of a pain. And the last thing, check this out. Oh my god, I am so mad about, like, they, they changed the bug so that it only meant Sabine could be in a not chopper, because I can't get those Zetas and I can't get those Carbon or the Carbonti and the furnace, which is a really neat piece of gear. Oh, I'm just sad, sad. And that's just a, that's just unfortunate. So we are going into the third round now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't really know if there's a guide to this. I definitely recommend taking out the death troopers first, and then you know taking out the tie fighter pilot if you see him first. Boom. Oh, yeah. Crit for 2,000. Let's go. All right. Do -do -do. Chopper chooses rocks. Whatever those things are, I don't even know. All right. Round four to unlock the Grand Admiral Thrawn. Here we go. I love this art. It's really neat. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's check it out. All right. Oh my days. Actually, no, I kind of want Kanan to die or get really weak, so. Here, I can back him up. I love Thrawn. You're going to see his, hopefully you're going to see a special stream where he does that like kick thing or you'll see it next. I'm willing to bet. Yeah, you'll see it next. Okay. He's going to do like this double kick. I love that ability. That's so cool. And he's got a neat kit, but I just, I'm again, I'm just not impressed. I'm not a big believer. Um, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't tangent it off from what you're doing. Save your resources. And what's nice about this is if Thrawn goes after Kanan again, he'll just come back because even though he has zero turn meter, Oh, I think we're going to win it. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a Grand Admiral Thrawn unlocked. All right. That was kind of fun. It was really cool. Uh, I hate the Phoenix, though. Hi, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Look at that. That looks awesome. Uh, tell me what you guys think about Grand, Mal Grand Admiral Thrawn in the description below. I'm not really that impressed. I'm not going to put that much effort into him unless he becomes meta-defining. But the AI really needs some work before that happens, I think. Because you can win with a lot of teams on defense. There's still a lot of viable teams. Okay, let's look at the mods. I just threw on my five-star mods on every single character I had. Uh, I ran basically just 
random mods, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Protection, health, survivability was the only thing I was really concerned about, but I didn't really have to try that hard to get them to survive this mod. This defense mod was huge with the health and protection. Uh, again, just protection, health. Put some potency on Zeb if you want him to stun and put daze. That's pretty neat with... Uh, if you want to daze the Grand Admiral Thrawn, that way you can't counterattack. That's pretty helpful. If you're struggling, I honestly didn't struggle. I recommend everybody save up your resources. Save up the Galactic War currency. Don't farm anybody past 7 star on the Phoenix characters. If you're going on with your normal route, do that. Uh, Chopper was the hardest for me to star up, mainly because even though we got that huge push, the Cantina shipments is just an absolute hassle for me. I don't know why. I think because I farmed like First Order Officer. But... Guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you have more content. Links in the description. I put a lot of effort into making this video. I know it's been a while, guys. I've got a lot on my mind. I've got a lot of good content coming out soon. Peace out. Thanks, EA, for making it nearly impossible to get the Zetas from the Phoenix Flash event.